Hello YouTube, I'm going to make you a Friday video and today before we start the actual sawing I got some bank video. Uh, we're going to do some maintenance. Uh, I'm getting a blade off of the chop saw. It is dull and we're cutting all this real heavy blocking here and it is uh, it's struggling. So they're going to pick it up and bring it back to us by Friday so the saw will be back in service when we saw on Saturday. Uh, also, if you've seen a short video I just put on, um, I am looking at possibly a replacement engine for the bus motor and uh, a lot of people are sort of surprised but uh, we don't know much history on it so let's let's take a little walk over here I'll get you off the stand here uh, when we had bought this mill back in 2018 this poor thing has sat for nine years um, and we don't know much history on it uh, the hours mean nothing because I put that hour meter on it um, I changed some injectors in it. It does slobber oil like a 671 should. Uh, it is lacking some power um, and it does make some pretty loud uh, knocking noises. So it's a matter of time before one day the bus motor will not wake up. So I don't want to be caught in that predicament um, to be in the middle of sawing and then all of a sudden we're scrambling to buy an engine. So anyhow, um, We'll go back over here and start on our project. So I talked to Matt from Diesel Creek and um, I seen a video when he went out to Ritchie Brothers Auction and picked up that motor. So um, anyhow, we're, we're talking about a possible deal. Uh, nothing's final yet. And I do want to hear the thing run. Um, I asked him why it was actually, it, it was actually, um, hydraulically locked there, there there must have been a little bit of water got down in the exhaust and uh but it seems to be running fine as far as you know what matt had said so this is going to be an ongoing video so uh take enjoy the ride we'll, we'll let you know what happens here as it happens so uh and also i got to find a pto clutch for it and uh frickin jeep had helped me out there's a place in lancaster pennsylvania and um they seem to have power takeoffs for anything you can think of so um, we're, we're looking into all them options and so anyhow that's enough about the bus motor but yeah we are looking to upgrade it someday um, it will not live forever so let's go ahead and start taking the shield off of here uh, when I had bought this swing saw I guess you're in the shot here this swing saw wasn't on a pedestal all it was is just the two upright pipes and there was no table there was no guards on the saw whatsoever so i fabricated all this and again hunky ingenuity good hunky ingenuity goes a long way so the guard was uh, a definite necessity for it but it's kind of a pain to get on and off but it's better that it is harder to get off if something would come flying out so it uh it it definitely does its job so always working on something when you own a sawmill i don't care you it's just the way it is things get dull things get broken things get worn out So anyhow, and I'm not sure if I can get away with, I might be able to leave that back one on. So, but yeah, you can see how crudded up it is. So let me see uh, <laughs> my good old monkey wrench here. And I'm not sure if this is right or left hand. We're going to find out. Let me see which way. Yeah, I think it is going to be right-handed. So I'm going to get a block of some sorts. Where would I find a block of wood at, everybody? We might have to go to a sawmill. Oh, I can't get past that guard. Oh, let's get something thinner.
you always try to plan on having everything intact in when you turn the camera on. And then when you turn the camera on, you can't find nothing. All right, let's see if this will work. There we go. There it goes. And anybody that uses hammers to uh, beat saw nuts on, you shouldn't own a saw. Everything goes on till you, you push it on, you give it a couple thumps with your fist, and that's it. I watched some sawmill videos, the guy goes ape on the blade, and he is, he's just a hammering on that thing to get it tight on the mandrel. So we're gonna have to try to get this out just a little bit further. And the bad thing is the saw blade is holding it. <laughs> yeah, we might have to pull that back. Well, for the minute it's gonna take, let's just take that back guard off. Before somebody like me gets hurt. This way I can pull it out further without further ado. And I, everybody's hitting the fast forward button by now. But I do want to show you the blade. It is, it is one heck of a blade. There we go. Yeah, now it'll allow me to come out where I need to. So while I'm doing this, let's just see if I can one-handed get it off of there. One way to deal with it. Let me come around there. Might as well put the nut back on. And I want to order a spare blade for this saw, so that way we're not in a predicament anytime you want to sharpen it up so all right there it is this is a 28 inch 60 tooth negative hook five degree negative you want that on a cross cut saw because if you have a positive hook this saw will be real grabby and try to get a hold of you but this saw has cut i mean take a look at this this saw has cut every bit of slab wood around here, plus all the stuff we sold. Uh, we use it for cutting orders like this, blocking, and all kinds of stuff. So uh, it did a good job, and it's time to resharpen it. So, well, I'm glad you come along on a little bit of sawmill maintenance here, everybody. And uh, enjoy the video. We're just cutting some more of the uh, three and a half by five and a half blocking. So, uh, hey, do me a favor. At the end of the video, could you please hit the like button? If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and share it with somebody. And I will catch you on the next one when we have a sharp saw blade. We'll be putting it back on and we'll be cutting some more wood. Talk to you then. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. Going to make you a random sawing video. So let's get the bus motor fired up here. Haven't made one of these for a while. And today's topic is bridge decking. Cutting three and a half by five and a half. Oh, we get our first victim. So, these aren't the nicest logs, but that's what they're being used for here. Yeah. Well, I like that, except for that darn knot hanging out on the bottom. We gotta get rid of that. The turtle. The turtle must die. So we'll get rid of that first. Otherwise that 
have been a nice opening face. Yeah, we're not going to get much out of this log. What I'm trying to do is just get a face that's almost six inches, which that's just about it. So let's put that down on the head blocks, basically where we had started. And this is what you call cut knotty wood with a K.
I'm just reading numbers off a piece of paper, everybody, so I'm just seeing what will work. A decent little piece of oak, anyway. Seven and a quarter. I gotta back that up just a little bit. Always go back further than you need, then bring it forward to take all the backlash out of the rack of pinions. So we're only gonna get four, four of our paces out of this whole log. That's why I'm against the small logs for this kind of stuff. All right, let's get down to three and a half. Enough. All right, let's get one more victim here. This one here I might be able to get a lot out of. It's almost a shameless piece of uh, hard maple. But you got to do what you got to do. Put the knees up a little bit more. Oh, let's start with that. I'm gonna pop that taper out on the back side just a little bit. Let's put the master dog down just for safety now. I'm going to try to parallel this down to um, 11 inches. Alright. Okay, let's go with it. They basically said any hardwood, so this is what we're doing. Any hardwood. And we'll recover a few nice pieces of uh, hard maple out of this.
build it. Get this squared up enough so I can get another hole. That's too much weight on there now. Nope, it's not gonna happen. That little bit of weight on her, I'm gonna put that back to the knees. Then we're gonna take it down to uh, 11 inches. We'll end up with six pieces, which will be a dozen finished pieces. All right, Bill, the tapers away. Put the doggies away. We're gonna saw this down to 11. It's got a lot of tension in it. Um, we're 
just working on an order right now, so you'll see more of this in the future of cutting these three and a half inch by fives. But when we have an order and that's all we can film you, so and I put that woodworking video on, so give you a little bit more solid. So do me a favor, can you hit the thumbs up and please share it with somebody? And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for coming along. I'll catch you on next one. Bye bye.